the PBY Catalina, beloved by Navy sailors and flyers throughout the Second World War, and well known as Jacques Cousteau's flying boat. The B-24 Liberator bomber, famous for crippling the Nazi war effort in a daring daylight raid at the Ploesti oil fields in Romania. Those and a host of other aircraft designs were the result of a merger of the Gallaudet Aircraft Company and the Dayton Wright Aircraft Company. That merger that became known as Consolidated Aircraft was the brainchild of Reuben Hollis Fleet. Reuben Fleet was born in Montesano in 1887 to a prominent family that had made money in the timber business. During the Panic of 1893, they had lost pretty much everything. But Reuben went on to military school and Stanford University and took up an interest in aviation and aircraft design. During the war, Reuben even became a private consultant to President Franklin Roosevelt. Though Reuben spent most of his life away from Grace Harbor, he set up a philanthropic organization with his sister Lillian Fleet Bishop, along with her husband Ned Bishop, an early investor in Consolidated Aircraft and they never forgot where they came from. The Bishop Center for the Performing Arts was funded by the philanthropy of Reuben Fleet and Lillian Fleet Bishop. The philanthropic foundation set up by the Fleet and Bishop families is today run by the Grays Harbor Community Foundation. They are actively working to improve the quality of life in Grays Harbor County through awards and grants as well as providing financial assistance and practical assistance and advice to other giving organizations. You're listening to Grace Harbor's Community Public Radio, KGHI 91.1 in Westport and KGHE 89.1 in Elma, a public service of the Grace Harbor Institute. <laughs> 